simple non-invasive test could predict your risk for a heart attack. A new device measures the health of your blood vessels and heart. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez explains how it works. It happens almost a million times a year. Someone in this country suffers a heart attack, often with little or no warning. High blood pressure and cholesterol are known risk factors for heart disease, but doctors are now realizing those are essentially just symptoms. Edward Murphy doesn't have any heart disease symptoms, but he wants to know whether he's headed down the wrong path. I think it's like time to start checking and keeping an eye on things, because I think, you know, Heard after 50, everything goes downhill. The test Murphy is having is called the endopat. Turns out the lining of every blood vessel in the body, called the endothelium, says a lot about the health of our hearts. The endothelium in the brachial artery of the arm is the same endothelium that's in the heart. And studies have shown that when that's abnormal, the ones in the heart are abnormal. Here's how the endopat works. Blood flow sensors are placed on one finger of each hand. Then a blood pressure cuff inflates to stop blood flow to one hand. After five minutes, the cuff is deflated and the finger sensors measure how the blood flow recovers. In the arm without the cuff, blood flow is steady. In a normal patient, you see blood flow stop with the inflated cuff and then a rebound surge in blood flow but in an abnormal test blood flow only recovers to what it was before the stoppage a warning sign of potential trouble the abnormal inner lining function will predispose you to a buildup of plaque in the blood vessels and may also predispose you to a rupture of a plaque in the heart arteries which is what gives a heart attack having that concrete evidence that something is wrong encourages patients to make lifestyle changes in weight diet exercise and perhaps medication to hope Hopefully restore normal function and prevent a future heart attack or stroke. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And Dr. Max tells us the endopat test is FDA approved and is generally covered by insurance.